Hi Amiga people, welcome back to my Amiga Cave. My name's Graham and today I'm going to be looking at the Sega Quickshot Aviator model QS156 which was released in about 1992. So, have a look inside here. That's it, she's a big bay wing sheet. The aviator, quick shot, ready to go. Interesting thing with this is it has actually got two plugs. I'm not really quite sure why, don't see the advantage in it, except probably that it's designed for a Sega system, which I know absolutely nothing about. But it allows you to change between player 1 and player 2 simply by flicking the switch down here. Now the box itself has got quite a lot of detail on it. So let's take a closer look at this. One of the most obvious differences between the aviator and a normal joystick is the horizontal indicator which is right there and as you push forward or back or left or right it will move with it. We've got a number of fire buttons, there's our left fire button, right and there's two at the back. We also have the start buttons and down below that on the left we have a switch to change between port 1 and port 2 and we also have a slow motion switch on the right hand side flipped it around to the back and you can see behind here we have two fire buttons on either side corresponding with the front Below we have the four massive suction cups which give it enormous grip on a glass table, uh, complete stability, in fact it's quite difficult to get them off when you've finished using it. So the Sega equipment works properly on the Amiga and doesn't damage the Amiga itself. I use this adapter that you can buy over eBay for about $20. I started a program that is called the Advanced Amiga Analyzer and that will allow us to see what the joystick is sending through the signals here live. So let's start off with something simple, let's do left and of course it's left and right forward equals down and we have down and left down and right, back is up and up left, up right. Okay, nothing too extraordinary there. Let's see what the fire buttons do. The left fire button is firing and it's toggling. What about the back button? That's firing and that's staying on hard. So there is a difference. What about right? Well, that's firing much faster, repeating. Back, right, and very similar between the two. Don't see much difference there. So what happens if we change the speed here? It's gone to the middle setting and it's toggling and so is that but faster. So there is a difference as you can see. Okay, and the maximum turbo speed it hasn't changed really has it? That's fast and front right rear right. Okay. We've got a couple other buttons here, the start buttons. Start, nothing, nothing, so they're obviously not used. And we also have our two buttons down here, P1, P2. Uh, I've only got P1 plugged into port 1. So, or actually on the Amiga it's port 0, isn't it? Um, and port 0 is functioning at the moment. Port 2 will be doing nothing because not plugged in. So we also have the slow motion, so that's set to off. So what happens if I set to on? Try fire. 
Now that's firing right continuously and the mouse coordinates saying are saying that it's jumping from 434 to 435 and back. So it's moving back and forwards. And you can see the mouse pointer here is actually doing that, it's jumping backwards and forwards. So you can see the idea is to keep it moving back and forward, back and forward, and that will be your slow motion. See if there's any difference with the back. This one's this button here is toggling left and right, jumping backwards and forwards between the two, and same with the rear button. Oh, interesting. Definitely has a realism towards um, a real flight simulator that you wouldn't really get with a, a normal joystick. It's also nice that it's anchored tightly to the glass top. Okay, my guns are on the left rear. The other fire buttons aren't doing anything, except I'm being shot at. Take that. It's definitely a lot easier to immerse yourself into uh, the feeling that you're flying. Not that I'm a pilot, so I couldn't really tell you how realistic it is. And I'm not quite sure why these these five buttons aren't working. Okay, I'm That's the quick shot aviator. Is it authentic to a genuine aircraft? Well, I'm not a pilot, so I couldn't really tell you that. I have tried professional simulators, and I do think that it compares well with those. Uh, I enjoyed using this today, and I found that when I was moving to the left or the right, I actually felt like I had to lean left or right with it, uh, which is probably a good sign. Thank you for joining me today in the Amiga Cave. If you like this video, have a look for my other videos that are on YouTube. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Cheers.